What's up y'all? Hope you guys are good. So I know it's been a minute since I've made a video on TikTok or whatever, but yeah, I've been quite busy behind the scenes in my work life and my social life. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, making the most out of my life. Anyways, the last three years have been utterly insane, like a movie in my life, man. Like, they've, it's, it's been some heavy times. But since COVID, COVID gave me like a forced break in my life and I was really forced to step things down. And I, I got back into my environmentalism quite heavily. And it just went from like, utterly insane to utterly insane overnight I, I i don't know how to put it i don't know how to describe it to you like one minute we were building these awesome outdoor lounges and chill spots in our backyard in Novilo. and you know we had an outdoor cinema and bluetooth speaker and it was all solar powered and we were renting the spot out to musicians to come jam and whatnot and do their thing and then next thing like fast forward to a few months later and i'm on prime time tv doing interviews on ecnca and i'm on like front page of the newspaper and the radio interviews uh, because I'd started this other project which was pretty awesome it was like um, sand dune rehabilitation but it was also like a little bit more diverse than that um, I think the project got so much clout publicly because it was involving collecting trash it was beach cleanups I think that 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 eased into it but for me, where I felt like I succeeded so well with San June Rehab Project, it, is, it was a garden on the beach. It is something that is like really, really difficult to pull off. And the level that I did it at was just amazing. We managed to get species of plants to grow um, in sand conditions that they would never ever grow in. We were able to completely re-established dunes altogether. Uh, for me, um, it was a great learning curve. Learned a lot about biodiversity, permaculture. I used a lot of internet and research and engaged with a lot of folks. I got some departmental funding, which eventually got pulled on me because, long story, we won't talk about politics. But this particular project, I ended up writing a whole, um, pretty much like a whole article on it. it. It was quite long and quite extensive. And this environment is particularly difficult to be growing any sort of vegetation in there. And we were very limited as to what we could grow. The saline conditions, salt conditions are, in, are like terribly high. There's next to no nourished soil, so you have to completely re-nourish the dunes. The plants that you grow, you have to constantly water them for the first few months. And then the sun like beats down on them. It was like an utter nightmare worth of maintenance, but I succeeded and my beach was absolutely stunning. It was one of the most well-kept beaches. There was not a spot of litter by like 6 a.m. I was up every morning on that beach collecting litter and making sure it was spotless. We had lovely dedicated pathways down to the beach. We were fixing all the infrastructure. And then, bang, fast forward to Durban storms. Boom, man, it desecrated everything. Um, and when I mean everything, like water through my posy, like ankle deep, walls in our house getting washed away, my entire garden just like was covered in just this mound of mud. It just got what it got desecrated. It was so sad. It was such a bittersweet end. But I'm still very, very keen to get back into the the kind of whole spirit of it, and it, it was a time that made me grow emotionally and mentally so much doing all of this and I love being there in the soil with my hands, I love getting my hands dirty, I love hard work, manual labor, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting back to it all this season and yeah, just the, just keep following me for more because I'm going to be doing another video soon just about the spring and summer 2023 24 it's a seed and plant exchange program community outreach program we'll be having some dedicated meetups exchanging plants all completely free of charge it's just for nature and environmental lovers to kind of get together and yeah share their love for mother nature cheers y'all we'll chat soon take care bye